Hi there, welcome to the final part of making our little bag. So you've just finished sewing up the sides. Um, it should be inside out at this point, so we're gonna flip it around to the right side. And now the way we were doing the stitching for that, you will see, there we go. That it should be fairly nice and neat um, because the sewing that we were doing should be buried kind of underneath each of those ridges. So we'll line up our corners at the top. We are going to put handles on now. So um, for each of these points, we are going to have half of a handle. So if we look at the finished one here, what I've done is start the handle at the point and then come up. You can determine how long you want each of your handles to be. Um, and then we go halfway up the handle on from each of the points and then we join it at the center at the top. You can determine how long you want it to be, whether you want it to be a shoulder bag or just a handbag. Uh, so let's get started. I chose the lavender color for mine. Uh, I thought since I've used that the least in the bag and I have the most of it left, I am going to um, use that for handles. So to start with, I'm using the exact same hook I was using for the granny squares. It's a six millimeter. And I'm going to go into the corner. So you can see here, there's the holes from where we've done the square. I'm gonna go into the corner, wrap the yarn, leave yourself a good tail to sew it in after. And I'm just gonna pop up with a loop and for this, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to make a little bundle the same way we were doing for the outer part of the granny squares. Um, but instead of doing little groups of three, I want to do a group of eight. So I'm going to wrap, go into the same place where I just came out of. Wrap, pull through. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap through two, wrap, go through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So you're building up a nice little fan across the top of this. You just keep going until you have eight. Go through, wrap, pull through, wrap, bring them in more yarn. Two, pull through. There's one, two, three, four, five. Three more to go. Wrap, pull through. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap, go through. You want a nice strong join where your handle is, and this will definitely give you that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more to go. Wrap, go through. Wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So there's your nice little join at the base of the handle. You can kind of pull it and center it on the top of that square. And then what we're going to do is rotate it. And we are just going to crochet back and forth across. We're going to do a very simple, sim just a single crochet. So what I'm going to do here is skip the first one. I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick up both sides. I'm going to wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through both. Go in, pick up both sides of the next one, wrap, go through, wrap, go through two, wrap, go through, wrap, pull through, in, pick up both sides, pull through, pull through. And I'm just working my way along. Till I get to the end of that little fan. There we go. We'll do one more. Wrap, go through and through. I'm going to turn it because I want to come back the other way. There we are. And I'm going to go into the next one and do the exact same thing. So what you want to do here is count how many rows you're doing. So you can mark it on your sheet or just keep a mental note or use a counter. Um, because what we want to do 
is make sure that all four of the ones that you do coming out of these points are the same so that the handles will be the same length. So all I'm going to do is keep going back and forth, back and forth and doing my little rows coming up um, depending on shoulder bag or handbag. And then when I get all four done, I'm going to stitch them together at the top. So this one will join to this one. And then on the other side, these two will join to each other. And that will be your beautiful little bag. So here's the finished bag just to review. You've got it all stitched up. You are doing just regular crocheting up for the handle. When you get to the top part here, this is where I've joined the two of them. So you make sure that they are equal length. Join that up. You want the same side joined with the same side. Try and make sure there isn't a twist in it. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And just make sure again when you join the two that there isn't a twist. And then your bag is complete. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you wish to buy more kits for this bag or if you want, wish to buy a kit for this bag, um, go to thevioletunicorn.com. And you can find it on there. If you are in Nova Scotia, pop into my little shop. I have the kits in the shop. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Happy crocheting, everybody, and thanks for watching.